Hello everyone and welcome to another session on moving load. I am Shurajit Ghosh and in this session, I will discuss how we can generate a moving load in negative global axis and combine multiple vehicle movement to find the worst effect in structure. For any multi-lane bridge or large plant with multiple crane, this type of combined vehicle movement is required for analysis. How we can consider this using moving load generator? That I will cover in this video. Basics of vehicle definition and load generation are already covered in my previous sessions on moving load. And you can check those to know how we can add wheel load and axle distance in vehicle definition and apply that load on any part of the structure using correct reference point and load increment value. In last video, I have generated a moving load case for a 3 axle truck which starts from left edge of this bridge and travels till the rear axle exits the right edge. 33 loads are generated to cover the entire span and this number is calculated using total travelling distance and load increment. Today, I will use same vehicle load but this time, it will move from right to left in negative x axis and I will use the second lane for reverse movement. Wheel load is already available under vehicle definition and we can use that in reverse direction with same number of generated load case. I don't want to delete this moving load. It will be used later for combined movement. We can open the input editor, go to the load generation block using content tree. This command line generates the vertical moving load component for vehicle type 1 with initial location minus 8, 5, 1.8 and 1 meter increment in x axis. We can inactive this command line and close input editor. Now we can add a new moving load item and specify required inputs like initial position and load increment. In last video, we have discussed how to calculate initial position from reference point which is rear right wheel of the vehicle. This time, moving load starts when the vehicle enters the bridge from right and under first moving load case, front wheel loads are applied on this beam. As this reference point is outside the structure, we need to find out the coordinate of any front wheel and from there, we can calculate the reference point location. Coordinate of this node or right front wheel is 24, 5, 1.8. To calculate the location of reference point, we need to add length of vehicle with x, y and z are same. For this 8 meter vehicle, reference point location is 32, 5, 1.8, which we can specify as initial load position input. I will use load increment value as 1 meter. For this value, Generated load case number will remain same, 33. By the way, this number is calculated using total travelling distance of the truck, which is 32 meter divided by 1 meter increment plus 1. This is covered in last session. As this load travels in negative global axis, we need to specify increment value as minus 1. Sign of load increment is very important. It informs TAD the direction of movement and depending on this, program fix the orientation of load assembly. If we specify the value as plus 1, front wheel load is assigned in positive direction, but with minus 1 increment, front of vehicle is directed towards negative axis. If we specify this as plus 1, initial location and vehicle direction are considered like this and it will travel away from bridge. With this, load assignment is complete. For moving load, based on the input, load items at different location are generated during analysis and we need to analyze the model to check the generated load. 
under first load case. Front wheel load is applied at right edge of the deck. Then it starts to move in left with 1 meter interval from previous instance till the rear wheel exits the bridge. Total 33 loads are generated. This is how we can reverse the movement of any moving load with correct reference point and increment. Next, I will combine this load with previous vehicle load. Under each moving load case, we can add multiple load from same or different direction. It is not limited to one vehicle load. We can manually add a new load or from input editor. Switch on the inactive load. As you can notice, a new command line is created for reverse movement. We can activate previous load command, save and close. Now there are two moving load case under this load generator from different direction. And after analysis, we can check these loads in UI. All total 33 loads are generated and under each load case, Two separate load items are included for each vehicle. Under first load, both these vehicles enter the bridge. Front wheel load is applied on the edge beam. Then this load start to move in opposite direction, cross each other and finally exits the bridge. This combined movement is very important for analysis and design. Result of single vehicle on bridge does not always match with the result of multiple vehicles. And this combined effect considering different location of vehicle produce few critical zones that needs to be considered properly. Not only movement from opposite side, for any multi-line bridge, we need to combine different vehicle load from same direction. For example, assume a two-axle vehicle like a car is traveling on this bridge in the second lane and it is 3 meter behind this truck. We can simulate this combined movement using moving load generator. For this, correct reference point of this car is required. Let's add this load along with the truck. First step, we need to add this wheel load and axle information in the vehicle definition using a new vehicle type, type 2. For this car, each wheel load is 40 kN and distance between wheel is 3 meter with width 1.8 meter. Now we have two vehicle definition in this model. First one is for a 3 axle truck and second one is for a car. To apply this load, we can add a new moving load item under same moving load generator. This time vehicle type is 2 which is for the car. This load will enter the bridge after truck and we need to calculate the reference point based on the assumption that it is moving in this lane 3 meter behind the truck. We know the reference point of truck and we can add the distance between these two vehicle plus length of car to find the x value which is minus 14 meter. Z value is 3.6 and y 5 meter. We will use same load increment value 1 meter. After analysis, we can check the load position. First, truck load is applied on the bridge which moves to the right. Then this car enters the bridge from the second lane and proceeds behind the truck. Finally, truck load exits the deck car is still on the deck. We can increase the generated load case number to apply car load on entire span. In similar way, we can combine multiple vehicle movement in same or different direction. Even we can vary the load increment value and simulate a condition where a vehicle starts from behind and overtakes the former vehicle. There are so many possible combinations. And for proper analysis, we need to consider all those conditions which might produce critical result. Moving load analysis produce more accurate result than influence line method. 
Also, we can consider combined vehicle movement, which is more realistic. Probably you are wondering why there is no distance between this lens. In this model, vehicle load is applied directly on a girder, which is not always true. For any bridge, loads are applied on the deck, then it is transferred to the girder. How we can simulate a vehicle load directly on the deck considering safe lane distance, that I will cover later. In next video, I will discuss how we can use similar logic to simulate multiple crane movement in a warehouse. Stay tuned for more updates.